for another vlog y'all I just decided to open up a new vlog today I didn't know if I was gonna vlog today or not um, I was just taking a break the last few days um, so I have a few things to do today it is pouring down rain outside and I mean pouring I have some groceries coming in soon because I've been ordering groceries like little by little like for the next two days at a time luckily with delivery I could do that um, so I'm gonna put some food in the slow cooker and I have another meal for the next day or two so I don't have to worry about that um, yeah so I have slow cooker food going I have quite a few things to do today I, ha I made a to-do list of the things that I need to do I need to make my bed I haven't made my bed yet but I, I um, wanted to put myself together first and if it was up to me I would stay in bed why because it's pouring down rain outside so I just I wanted to be under the covers but I decided to give you guys another vlog so um thank you for being here guys thank you so much so let me see what's on my to-do list for today slow cook a dinner the kids asked me also to make them a smoothie so we'll see if we can make that today for them I'm gonna cut up some fruit for them also I wanted to make my own taco seasoning um, I think it's better to make yours homemade so if I do that today we will see guys sometimes some things get in the way I I do something completely different from what I have on my to-do list it depends I need to empty out the kids backpacks I still haven't done that yet I need to wash them as well so I may I might get around to doing that today I also have wash kids clothes because the laundry is pretty packed I think Desi is more packed than anybody else clean kids bathroom and paint dresser which John said he wants to do when he gets off work today so um, it's already Sunday down it's good to go this is the boys dresser which is crazy we was gonna get started on hers first but the other one was like ready to go so we're gonna start on the boys first so I'll show the process of that one it's already sanded it just needs to be wiped down now and painted um, I'm excited for that I think John said he wanted to do the handles for the boys, like silver for the boys, like a metallic silver. That will look really nice with that navy blue. Um, and then I wanted to go, do gold hang, handles for Destiny's dresser with the, with the copper color paint that I got. So um, let me get see if I can find you guys an example of what I'm looking for for her dresser. Pinterest, I literally stay on Pinterest, you guys. Um, that's where I get a lot of my ideas and stuff from. I love Pinterest. Let me see if I can find an example. I'm not wearing my glasses right now. Okay. So this is the color that I'm looking for. I don't know if you guys can see the full thing, but this is more towards the color. I got a screenshot of that from Pinterest. And then the, these handles are more like copperish. I want hers to be more gold. So this is the paint color that we got the other day, which, the other day, which is... If you're looking for this is charisma by Sharon Williams now I didn't know this but every paint color you can pretty much get it in the chalk paint version so if you want a certain color and you want to paint furniture you could get that color also just tell them that you want it in a chalk paint they could do that I prefer to paint in chalk chalk paint um, it's so easy like the dresser comes out nice you can Pretty much, you, if you make a mistake on it, you can't even tell. You can easily fix it. So, um, yeah, so that's a color. Color 6605. So, if you're looking for something like that, there you go. Um, yeah, guys, so I need to start my day. I need to make my bed. Because when I don't make my bed, it's so easy to just get up right back in there. Right back in there. Because it's pouring outside hey guys so I have the chicken breast going in the sec slow cooker this is I don't even know how many pounds this is I think this is close to four pounds um, but it's pretty easy so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some kosher sauce so we're making on uh, chicken pulled pork not pulled pork chicken barbecue chicken sandwiches <laughs> y'all I haven't had any breakfast or coffee or nothing so I'm adding some kosher salt in here and then of course we adding some garlic powder okay we are adding some paprika it's super easy to do I just wanted something to slow cooker something that I don't have to work too hard and then later on I'll make the close the coleslaw 
Okay, I'm adding some oregano. Right? Super easy. And then I'm adding, I'll say about three, three and a half cups of um, barbecue sauce. Now this one right here, I don't know if you guys seen this before. The lady that makes this barbecue sauce, she lives in, she lives near here. So of course our Walmarts carry her stuff, but it's almost finished. I love this barbecue sauce. It has like a vinegary taste. Um, so you live here in Augusta or anywhere near here. I definitely recommend you to try this sauce. You can find it at Walmart. I also have about three cups, three and a half cups of barbecue sauce, but I need to add some more. This is nothing. So I ran out. This is John's favorite. It has like, yeah, it has like a vinegary taste to it. So I'm about to add some sweet baby Jesus up in here as well to finish it off. And then I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to cook it on high for five to six hours. And then that will be it. That would not be it. I forgot something, you guys. I forgot two things. I'm telling you, I don't do too well without not having coffee in the morning. I would, because I'm making four, like a four pounds of chicken breast. I'm also going to be adding two, two uh, tablespoons of brown sugar as well. I need coffee. <laughs> and then I'm adding a whole big old Vidalia onion. You can find these onions here in Georgia, mainly. Nowhere else really sells them. Unless you really live in South Carolina, you can get them there as well. All right. Now we can close the lid, y'all. Now we can close the lid. <laughs> Right now I am making the kids some oatmeal for breakfast. So when I make the oatmeal, I cook it in water first. It's the one minute oatmeal, so it doesn't take very long. I add a little bit of salt and then a stick, a non stick, about a half a stick of butter in here. Then I add some carnation evaporated milk in here and some sugar and um, cinnamon. Now, if you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to add cinnamon, but most Puerto Ricans and Dominicans make their oatmeal this way. Uh, my mom used to make it this way. It was our favorite and Destiny is waiting for this. This is her favorite breakfast. So you can add strawberries and stuff at the end or cut up bananas. It's up to you. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to make some um, taco seasoning. I'm going to be putting it, putting it in this jar. I will have the link to that recipe down below. So when you go to my description box, it says summer's dinners link. You click on that and then once you click on that, scroll through there and you will find the recipe. So you will need some chili powder, of course, onion powder, garlic powder, kosher salt, paprika, and cumin. You will also need some pepper as well. All right guys, so first it asks for like half a cup of chili powder. Making sure I do this correctly. Cause I literally, when I look, when I was looking through my um, cabinets, I was getting rid of stuff, and then I had finished the like I had this big container from Sam's Club, some taco seasoning, and I'd rather make my. I was just trying to finish that up till I made mine homemade. I knew the next time that I had some, I wanted mine homemade, so um, I am making that now. And then what I'm gonna do is once I'm done, finish with the. Make it uh, make a label, but it won't be today. So I used a whole container for the chili powder. Put this in here. Ooh, still making a mess. All right, y'all. So you'll need three tablespoons of garlic powder next. One, two, three. And then you will also need three tablespoons of onion powder as well. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do is get three tablespoons of kosher salt. Three. All right. 
because once I'm done, all I got to do is shake the whole bottle. I really don't have to mix it in there myself. And then, of course, you're going to need three tablespoons of cumin. I hope I have extra cumin. I noticed that I run out of that really quickly. One. Come on, come on out. Two. Three. Like this. All right. And then you will only need one tablespoon of paprika. This is the extra one that I keep in the cabinets. I always keep the extra ones of the ones of the glass jars that I have. Almost there. Put some of this back. And last but not least, the only thing you need at the end is one tablespoon of pepper. And that's it. Let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close it and just shake it up. Just make sure you shake it really good. Okay, so one of the things that it says, let me fix this camera. It says that all you need will need is two tablespoons of this to to replace um to replace one packet of taco seasoning. So if you use you want to use one packet of taco seasoning, all you need need is two tablespoons of the taco seasoning from here from your jar and then what well, only thing I gotta do is just make a label and that's about it pretty simple hey guys so now I'm in the kids bathroom I'm getting ready to clean their bathroom so I'm getting ready to show you that guys that but I'm about to spray their shower down with my DIY cleaner I've shared it on my channel a million times before it's not in my description box but I'll tell you here. So basically, I warm up two cups of vinegar in the microwave. So like that, when I add the Dawn dish soap in there, it helps melt it up. So you will need three, four cup of Dawn dish soap, two cups of vinegar. Remember, warm the vinegar up in a microwave for like two minutes. Depends on the on your on your <laughs> microwave. And then you just add the soap. You add the vinegar and then the dish soap in here. You can add some essential oils if you want to, if you want it to have a smell. It's a strong smell, so I would put your fan on in the bathroom. But when I tell you it's the best shower cleaner, the store bus, the store bought stuff is not as good. And I've tried many. So I definitely will recommend it. You most likely will not like the smell. I'm gonna tell you that now. But the smell doesn't bother me. It's not that serious for me. So I'm gonna spray it, leave it in there for 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna clean the shower. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace, put it on me Maybe it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Maybe it's you And 
I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you y'all i am worn out so everything in here is clean floor is clean i cleaned the shower i cleaned the um toilet i just didn't show you guys all around the toilet and stuff like that there that is where my office is going to be it's a hot mess y'all this is the room we were just dropping stuff in and then something happened in here show y'all a little bit oh it's a mess it's a mess it's a mess like looking for stuff. I already got started in here. It was worse than this, but we have containers and stuff like that. We're gonna get to it, but this is gonna be my new office after everything is out of here. I know it's terrible in there. We all have a room that looks really bad. Either a room, a closet, or a drawer. But don't worry, we're gonna get that room straight. It's gonna look, by the time I'm done with it, it's gonna look completely different, but I can't wait to have that room as my office. I hope that they make you guys look at me different. <laughs> Time takes a toll on everyone, they say. Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change. Time. I'm stressing out, I can't figure out what to say, oh time, just give us time. Guys, so it's lunch time here, so I'm getting ready to fix some, a tray. Um, basically, I'd rather put it all in a tray so they could just eat off of it, and like, I don't have to, you know, make multiple plates and stuff, so. I'm gonna make it really nice for them. I notice with presentation is key, you know? Like the kids will are more eager to eat fruits or vegetables if it's look if it looks nice on the plate, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna add some oranges in here. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then um that'll be lunchtime because if I I know they're getting ready to start asking me what's for lunch, what's for What's for dinner? They already asked me what was for dinner. And <laughs> I already know that what's for lunch is getting ready to come. Especially from Destiny. She loves lunchtime. So, I think that's one more orange. Oranges go fast here. I'm gonna save that one for myself. All right, we got oranges. We have strawberries. I already have them washed and cut up. So that's just gonna be easy. Okay. I think that's good. See, it just melts the peanut butter a lot easier. I just do like this. They really like this. Now they don't get this every day, but I, I do do it in different ways. Now that I have like a larger tray, I can do this a lot easier, right? And then, I am going to just sprinkle some mini chocolate chips on top. That's gonna be Devin's favorite. <laughs> He's a chocoholic.
This chocolate's on Apple. <laughs> yep, I figured you guys was gonna put the mini chocolate chips on it anyway. Mm. <laughs> well, I guess they liked it. <laughs> this is what is left, which I'm about to eat that with the oranges that I cut up. This is my coconut tree, Jessenia. This is my coconut tree, and I also have a cocoa tree. Let me show you my cocoa. Uh -huh, my cocoa has a little, little cocoa. It's a big tree. Also, sorry for my backyard, it's, all, it's under construction. I also have some plantain tree and a little plantain in my patio look at the plantain look at my plantain look at my plantain another coconut tree it's full of coconut let me see you can see it it's hardly to see it. this is my one of my coconut tree this is my chicken house, my orange tree. Also, I have some mango tree. There is some mango. And still plenty of mango. It's not ready yet. It's still like a brand new. Still have, need more time. This is my coconut, my mango tree. It's full of mango. Oh, it's 2.42. Hopefully that gives me enough time to finish dinner. Dinner is now ready for another two, three hours. The laundry just finished. Is there anything in here? Oh, yep. John forgot to be sure this is about the dryer. I'll take that out real quick. All right. First load is done, which was the towels. And of course, y'all know, I washed my towels in vinegar and laundry sanitizer. You don't smell the vinegar at all, so. Once it's finished, you don't smell anything. I'm about to start Destiny's load of laundry. I'm gonna eat my fruit, and then I'm going to take a break and then make the coleslaw that's gonna go with those chicken, barbecue chicken sandwiches. It's gonna be so good which I'm about to start stirring the chicken. Usually at the beginning, I just put the stuff in there, let it cook, and then a few hours later, I would just go in there and stir everything up, which I'm about to do. I'm about to do that now, but let me start Destiny's little clothes. y'all like when I do the shout outs for the fetch rewards app I love using the app um, I just scan my receipts and then you get re like reward points not reward points you get is it reward points you get points towards gift cards and stuff like that I mean like when we go to Walmart I scan the receipt anywhere we go gas station Dollar Tree it could be restaurant receipts you get some points towards a gift card so I was able to get one for, I have one processing right now for Amazon and I'm gonna save it. Uh, we shop on Amazon all the time, but I have a, like on my Amazon cart, I have a cart full of stuff, like stuff for my office, like decor and um, not really decor, but like office stuff that you put in the office. I'm excited, you guys. I never thought I would need that room, but now I do and I'm happy about that so i have like a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna save that gift card for that so let me do a shout out for fetch rewards um i have you guys on here and i see your names and so thank you guys for joining also okay so i'm gonna do the top 10 i'm on number one spot 
So number two spot is Latanya Blanding. Number three spot is Cheryl Walker. Number four, Harmony Sal Salave. I hope I said that right. I, I, I said, she said this, I said it correctly last time. So I'm hoping I said it correctly this time as well. Um, number five is Brenda Liz Gonzalez. Number six is Missy Robinson. Number seven is Crystal Marsh Sidnor. Number eight is Erica Tho. Number nine is Tania Williams. Number 10 is Angela Bradley. That's the um, 10, but since I'm a number one spot, I'm gonna do another one. And number 11 is Adabel Morales. Number 12 is Jean White. So those are like the top spots. I'll do 15 then. Okay, number 13 is Mrs. Sick Humor TV. And number 14, Latrice Mc McCarver. Number 15 is Latrina Moore. So those are the 15 spots for Fetch Rewards. So you guys, if you haven't had tried Fetch, I would definitely recommend it. It's not sponsored. I just really love the app. Um, and just joining, you can also, when you join, you get a referral code too, that you can have your family and friends join. They get points and so do you. So I think that's actually pretty cool. I hope you guys are also enjoying the segment of Where Is Mom? Um, I'll be like, mom, send me some videos, send me some videos. She was so nervous to send me this one. Like she was nervous to talk. Um, so let, leave her some comments down below. She definitely reads them. You guys sent her some words of encouragement. She is loving filming like these clips for me, but she is so shy. <laughs> so, um, but she did so good. I'm so proud of her. Hey guys, so we just posted a new video, which is the Real Housewives of YouTube vlog, like literally five minutes ago. So that's what I was just doing. So if you haven't watched it, it's the vlog before this one. Okay, so I made some steak, steak fries in the air fryer. So that's done, I'm leaving it in there for now. The pulled chicken is done as well. And I made some coleslaw to go on top. Really simple, I was gonna film it, but I was in a hurry between posting a new video and trying to get dinner finished, you guys. I feel like I've been in this kitchen all day. All right, y'all, so let me show you the chicken. I already had shredded it and then I let it cook a little bit longer in there. So I'm going to start making sandwiches. I don't know if the kids are hungry because they did have a pretty big lunch. y'all it's kind of like two three hours later i was watching all my friends videos shanti kiosha tish video because we all uploaded um and then i was just taking a break because i feel like i've been going 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 all day but my husband is home you want to say hey to the vlog babe hey yo i missed him i've been missing him sometimes i'll be looking out the window just waiting for him to come home i'm here baby <laughs> that's true i do be missing him Plus he be leaving me alone with these three kids. <laughs> I be ready for him to come home. <laughs> My kids be fighting like cats and dogs. I just don't put it on here, but they do. They do. They be quiet half the day, but the other half they're killing each other. And Destiny, even though she's the youngest, she thinks she's the oldest and she's the boss. So I be breaking up fights throughout the day. <laughs> But, okay, let me show you guys what the dresser looks like. John said he got to do some more sanding to it. And then, oh, y'all see my beautiful stash that's been dwindling down? I had to, um, oh, let me adjust this. I had to kind of, you know, slow down with buying things because I didn't have hardly no space. I had to use my stuff up first. But it's time to get a, a, a few things. I'm so random. I just be grabbing the duster and just start dusting. And, um... Yeah, it's time to get some more. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four. I only got four per seals? Yeah. I thought I had more, John, but I have been going through it. That's a problem. Look, I have space to put more per seals right here. I've been using them. There's one on top. Um, I've been going through my Suavitel. I'm using the downy right now. What else? I need to get another thing of dishwasher pods. I come in here and dust it. I don't like when things get dusty in the garage, like these things right here, because you know, 
<laughs> it's a garage, so it gets dusty, but I don't like to keep it dusty. That's why I keep a duster here, just so I can do like this. Especially when we're um, sanding, well, John is sanding, things get a little extra dusty in here. So yeah, just saying. Let me show you the. Let me show you guys the dresser. Oh, he's still working hard over here. Oh, is this what you were talking about? I was trying to think of what you were talking about. Yeah, just right under there. Let me see. I just wanted to get it a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. But it looks good to me. Yeah. But man, this dresser, you did good, John, because it was like the top was lifted, water damaged, the back was coming off. John fixed that. Some of the stuff in there, the what is it? The where the drawers go? The runners. The runners. They were messed up. It was a lot of things wrong with this dresser. It's going to look like... Yeah, it was wobbly. Look, as you can see, it don't move now. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of things wrong with it, but it's going to be looking like a completely different dresser. Now we have to wipe it down. You left me stranded Looking like a fool Oh, all those nights alone in our company I thought he would need help but I guess not <laughs> I'm about to go take a shower though it's been a long day for me um he's still painting he got a lot of it done though I'm about to show y'all um 
Well, what you what you need to finish getting done, John? Pretty much just touch up the rest of the drawers and then do the drawers, and that's it. You doing the drawers tonight? Uh, uh, I don't know. See how I feel after we finish it. If not, I mean, you can, it can wait till tomorrow. It's up to you. Um, but so far, it didn't take us a lot of time, though. Well, it'll take you a lot of time. I keep including us in here. But you know what, though? I think John likes these projects. He really likes them. He do. He do love them. Because he likes to come in here in the garage and put music on it, like kind of zone out. That's kind of his me time, so I, I get it. But I come out here sometimes to hang out with him since I didn't see him all day. That's right. My sugar. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't wait to see um what that looks like. Where's the metallic silver spray paint? That we're gonna we spray the metallic gold, remember? Oh, you wanna do metallic gold for this they one didn't too? Have silver. Wow. I can go check the other Walmart uh -huh. tonight. Yeah. Because that one like that whole section, they had like three cans. Oh, no, so yeah, you might have to check another Walmart. Like thinking the same. So I'll go check that one. What time is it? 9.55. You can check tomorrow. Oh, I got time. Or whenever you want to do it. Yeah, I got time. John wants to do metallic silver for the handles for... Yeah, um, I don't think it'll look better with the navy blue. I think so, too. You're right. You're right. Now, I'm doing definitely doing metallic gold for Destiny's dresser. Um, what was I going to say? Once he gets the spray paint, I'll show you guys. Most likely, I'll show you tomorrow. A lot of times, we don't buy the handles because you could just go ahead and spray paint them and save you some coins. Yeah. Um, because it's they look good. You just gotta change the color from them. Let me turn out, turn the camera around so you can see the dress work is coming out. Perfect. All right, yeah. Oh, so this is what John got done so far. How many coats is it though? That's one coat that I had to touch up because it's holding better on the front than it did the top. The top needed two coats. Right, right. Yeah, because those creases need some. But like, I'd be like, you miss a spot. You miss a spot. <laughs> Good morning. Now is the next day. John is pretty much almost done with the dresser. He's not done all the way. There's some touch-ups. Once it dries, you kind of can see where he needs to touch up at. Um, but he's almost done. The only thing he got to do is a touch-up and like the waxing. Always definitely wax your furniture after you're done with it. Like I don't know if you guys can see with the glare. But once it dries, you kind of see some spots. And then... Like, you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but there's some spots that needs to be done. He's gonna do that today, and then um, he's gonna wax it. So basically, you guys, today is like a behind the scenes type of work day for me. I'm gonna be editing this vlog. Um, I also have some Instagram work to do, which is going to go live today on Instagram. I'm excited. It's the first one that I've really done on there and I'm hoping I could get some more in the future, but it's my first one. So I'm extra excited about this one. Also, I hope you have a great 4th of July. Um, I think when you guys watch this video it will be Sunday. So Monday, 4th of July will be that Monday. We're not planning on doing anything for the 4th. Um, it's just us. So since it's a day off, John said he's going to take that day to help me out with emptying out the office so we can get started on the office. I think I'm going to paint it the same color that I have in my living room because it does need to be painted and um, patch some holes up and things like that. And then oh, I'm excited, y'all. I am so excited to um, have an office. And then the same week, I have to pack for our Helen trip. I won't be vlogging the Helen trip that's John's birthday trip with a bunch of our friends um but I just want to have fun like it'll be the first trip we take that I haven't filmed you know I will be filming small clips so you guys can see what we were doing what we were up to what we did but not the whole trip um because truly like it, I just need to just be in the moment I haven't been in the moment in a long time so well I, I'll be in the moment but you know like just not filming so i'll film a little bit but not the whole trip so you guys can see what we're up to um so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to 
give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos you guys bye